What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and in this video I want to talk about how the talks between Tesla and Canada are heating up, pointing to a Giga Canada, Giga Factory in Canada. Just today, the Minister of Innovation posted on his Twitter feed that he had talks with Tesla in Fremont. Hi everyone, as you can see, we are here uh, after the Detroit Auto Show, we're in Fremont in California. Many of you were asking, where am I going in California? Well, you see it. We were at Tesla today visiting their uh, manufacturing facility, but also uh, meeting with the senior management to talk about uh, battery electric vehicle, obviously, the Canadian ecosystem, uh, and how can we in Canada make an economy work that works for everyone. So this was great meetings. Thank you for following us. I wish you also a very nice weekend. This was after a story broke by Electric Autonomy that indicated that Tesla has plans to lobby with the government. The July 2022 disclosure states that, quote, engage with the government and its agencies to identify opportunities for industrial and or advanced manufacturing facility permitting reforms with the intent to increase the competitiveness of Ontario and its ability to attract capital investment through establishing approvals, timeframes that are competitive with high growth manufacturing locations in North America, while also working with government to identify and align incentives, programs that could further increase the attractiveness of Ontario for industrial and or advanced manufacturing investment. That is a long sentence. Now, this is not Tesla's first interest in Canada. In fact, if you remember, several years ago, they acquired a company called Highbar, which is based out of Richmond Hill, Ontario, and they do battery equipment manufacturing. Tesla also purchased a Mississauga, Ontario-based Spring Power that does a battery cathode technology. For those longtime followers of Tesla, you already know that Tesla has a formal agreement with Jeff Don, who's a lithium battery researcher out of Dalhousie University. So Tesla already has a presence in Canada, but it seems like the interest in Canada is growing. I think this is because Canada is raw materials rich. Canada alone has 530,000 tons of lithium reserve. When it comes to nickel, Canada is no slouch either. In 2020, Canada produced 167,000 tons. And when it comes to copper, in 2020, they produced 570,000 tons. So as you can see, Canada will likely be a strategic partner as Tesla and other automotive companies begin to scale their electric vehicle production. Having a physical presence in Canada, likely Ontario, where they're producing vehicles and getting those raw materials in the country will be a huge chess play for accelerating their production numbers. At the last shareholder meeting, Elon Musk said that they would likely make an announcement on the next Gigafactory location. All things are pointing towards Canada being that next location. What are your thoughts? Sound off in the comments down below, and thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and like, and I'll catch everyone on the next video.